for, um, hopefully there shouldn't, I don't think there should be lag. Uh, wait, so you're just recording and you're not live? No, because I still use XSplit, but I, my internet's really, really slow, so. So you're not streaming then? No, but I'm recording, no. Yeah, okay. pretty much. Okay. Um, so, semifinals, game one between, or series one between LRM and Noob. So do you want to introduce the players, Joe Kim? Uh, okay, so in the bottom left we have LRM Pike, who's uh, a very prominent Zerg Polish player. And uh, the top right we have um, a blue Protoss, it's uh, MB Doty. Uh, he's always been one of the best German Protosses out there. Um, but once again, just like in Pike's shoes, uh, it's been really hard for uh, Doty to get his name out there during the prime of uh, Brood War because Germany just had incredible players as well. They had, uh, they had, they had Cole, they had Mondragon, they had uh, Infernal, and just a whole bunch of other players. So even if like these two players w would be considered like the national B team members, like right now they're they're yeah. just top tier. Oh, cool. Um, you can see that that Doty's planning for a long game. He set his first pile on there. I doubt he's gonna go for a proxy gate. It's most likely gonna be a, a fast nexus. Uh, probably, I'd say a thirteen nexus. And uh, Pike is actually going for the standard overpull. It's a safe strategy, um, mainly because since it's a two-player map, uh, if Doty sends his first probe out after his pylon like he did, he's going to be harassing and he's going to be preventing the, the expansion from coming up. So if Pike were to go uh, 12 hatch expansion, it'll be useless because Doty, Doty's probe control will just be um, harassing him the whole entire time. Okay. Therefore, this uh, overpull strategy just gives him things in time to put up the, um, the hatchery. And at the same time, not only is it uh, anti-probe scout, um, it's also makes Doty um, play defensive because now he can't make his nexus before um, getting cannons up. He needs these cannons up so that, let's say, if uh, uh, Pike doesn't want to go for the, the probe and, and Pike goes straight to Doty's base, Doty needs two cannons to, to prevent it, uh, prevent those links from going in. If he, if he only has one, he can just run by and lose like one or two links and then just get his whole economy fucked up. Yep, pretty much. Um, but yeah, <laughs> as you can see, uh, he just threw down a, a pylon to, to stall that expansion and he canceled it right away because he needs those uh, minerals. Um, but, at, you know, like I said, Doty's throwing up two cannons because he needs two cannons to fight off six links. Um, okay, well, yep. he almost... He almost lost the Overlord. <laughs> uh, 60 HP left. Uh, well, at least he's had double cans though, so I don't think he'll be stupid yeah. enough to throw in six links and just lose map control from that. He's gonna go d double cannon gate before Nexus. Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. Nexus. I didn't quite see it. I'm stupid. Yeah. Um, so, both players are uh, preparing for a, a more middle game late game strategy um we're not gonna see any anything all in right now uh pike is going for a second hatchery at the nine o'clock position um and and dodie's is gonna tech up he's probably gonna get, get a a star port to to get some stairs or one stair and just to see what uh, pike is doing which more than likely pike will just play the standard um layer into Spire anti anti stare into just mass hydras. Yep, that looks like pretty generic PVP or PVZ rather. Yeah. Players. Okay, this is really high level, so I'm used to casting D rank players. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean this is a lot more fun than casting like a an I Cup tournament, you know? Because oh, yeah. more than likely you're you're gonna be casting like a good player against some. some well, I just got to cast strength. flip during one of those I Cup ones, but he just, he, he refused to get in the same game as me because I didn't have any hack on, even though I was already having a latency, the decreasing, and the person that was lagging was actually uh -huh. the person from, like, Chile or whatever, some really, really just, like, like, D-Mines player, 
and they were blaming it on me, and it was really funny. Oh. Uh, they were jerks. But yeah. That's cool though. You've been you've been casting a uh, clown league nowadays. Oh, dude, I've casted week from week one to now. Oh God. It's been Which, so long. Like all of them, or oh no, just, like, the best no, 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 I calculated that. That would cost. That would be about nine hundred hours of casting. No, I've been like the <laughs> ideal. Well, first off, I was gonna do that, and then that followed into me following like th like three teams or clans from like one from Division A, Division B, one Division B two, and then the uh -huh. teams that I were following, the two of two of which just got DQ'd because they kept on getting walkovers. <laughs> and then and then they're like, all right, so we'll just give you the 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 best ones of the week, and then uh, that that ended up being like Team Messija, Pain, and like Sass and LRM got tossed in there, and Noob Team got in there a lot. So towards like the seven eight week, I think is start when they started to come up a lot more. So I know um, Team Messija pretty well. Yeah. Well, back to the game. Uh, uh, Dodi just showed some magnificent <laughs> micro there. Uh, there was three lanes against Goon, and then um, the Goon was just dancing around, sniping that Overlord, the initial Overlord that almost died earlier. Uh, and Dodi is actually going for a, a, a Speed Zealot plus one um, timing attack. He yeah. hasn't made any Corsairs yet. Um, he's, he's making one right now, but um, he's trying to snipe off as many Overlords as he can with that Dragoon. Uh, that one's really low. Um, Dodi will probably snipe that that 46 HP Overlord in a little bit, but he's just gonna pressure on with these <laughs> Pike throwing down a, a third hatchery as a block um, and oh, wow. and getting us around <laughs> over over the units. Uh, he'll he'll be able to hold this off. Um, I don't think Dodi should have committed to this, considering that well, Dodi has really good micros, so he'll, he could kill off a lot of units, but. Oh he wow! Hasn't he hasn't lost a single Zilla yet. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that that's very impressive. Uh, but now he, now he's being yeah. careless right now. He's 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 rally he to Pike's base. As you, as you can see, they're coming in one by one, and uh, that Corsair did get the la that that kill. Um, as long as the, this Corsair is doing damage, uh, Pike's in a little bit of trouble here because. Um, his, yeah. his PSI is, 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 is cap right now, and he doesn't really have that many units. He does not have defense, and, and Dodi has the plus one, and the speed will be coming in just, a, just in a few seconds. Uh, this is not good for Pike. The, the game might be ending here. Um, even if Pike holds us off, he's way behind in the economy, even though he has, he has three hatcheries going on. He has no drones um, to, to help him right now. Um, yeah, you know, Dodi is down... Well, Dodi's been... No, oh, hold on. Yeah, Pike's down to 24 drones to 40 probes right now. Ow. Now that now that third hatchery is actually hurting Pike because um, Dodi is using it to his advantage and he's putting uh, one zealot at each little little uh, crevice yeah, yeah. to make sure that, yeah, that uh, he's doing the most... Oh my god. Oh, there's is it the over? G. I think that's, I think that's oh. G. <laughs> I think they're my gun. I don't wait. Oh man. Oh okay. Well, I think I think if, he can hold, but yeah, he can hold. Um, if Dodi went 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 uh, more gateways and just streamed in zealots, he would have won here. But he decided to tech up. He decided to make more corsairs. He has DTs coming, and um, he's getting a plus one on his sairs, so yeah. he's going for a, a a plus one corsair DT attack, which is going to be very effective. Pike is losing his his uh, second expansion at nine o'clock. Um, he has Dodi has three T's and two Zealots there. They're gonna take that down very easily. Um, these corsairs are just gonna rip apart any sort of uh, Overlord. Uh, you know. He has like oh, wait, two. No, he has like two Scourge. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He still let them hit, but still might get a micro anyway. Yeah. And he made a Mutalist, which. I think that should be enough skirts to at least bring back Corsair. They have the same movement speed, right? At the, at the natural. Oh, they could have done so much more if that Overlord wasn't there. Ow. Um. Uh, okay, well the Corsairs are retreating. It, oh. Yeah, he's still connected, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's still connected, yeah. Oh man, oh man. It's, it's pretty much over now, though. Like, there's there's no way Pike can come back from this. I 
time I checked, he was at, uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, it's 22 probes to, like, 56. I mean, like, I don't think Doty's missed a single, like, harvester at all. Like, I think he's hit every single harvester that he needs to have right now, which is kind of ridiculous um, when I think about it. He's even going to Stargate right now. Uh, yeah. He's, like, really wanting to commit to those Corsair. For, for, for good reason, though, because that's, like, all he can do right now. But that's a lot of Scourging Beetleist right there. Plus one should be effective. Maybe. Um. Well, I don't really know what else to talk about right now. Um, oh. I think... Well, well mine is... Since this game's already over, might as well introduce the fact that uh, MB is no longer MB. They're uh, uh, Sam Jock Gaming now. Oh yeah, They've yeah. Been sponsored, um, sponsored by a, a multi-gaming um, corporation. I don't know what. I have no idea who they were. Called, because I never heard of the, the, that website before. But you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw. I, yeah. So. I think that's like the first, it's like the first foreign brood war team to be actually sponsored in like a long time. I feel like if they were even ever foreign brood war teams that were ever sponsored. <laughs> um, there has been a lot of sponsored brood war teams, but I don't feel like this new sponsor is a, is a big one. No. Because, well, well, one, I just never heard of them. And secondly, um, if they were a big one, I would have heard of them, you know, like, yeah. like ESC and Maps were huge. Um, and even, even, uh, Fnatic and, and all those other teams. Yeah. But, you know, a sponsor is a sponsor for any team. Oh, GG. Yeah. GG. Well, the Beatles couldn't actually just do anything in that game, so it was pretty... Yeah. I don't know, that was a pretty one-sided one game. That was a pretty one-sided game, let's be honest there. Um, yeah. Which right, is so shocking, because Pike is actually a really good player. Oh, yeah. And for, for, for that to be uh, that one-sided, um, that game to be that one-sided, uh, I didn't expect that. I thought it will go into, like, you know, 20 minutes of intense battles. Well, I, th I think what 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 Doty wanted to do was, like, well, he's got to try to put me in a defensive state, so, like, let me just attack and see what happens. Um, like you were saying, he was putting up the build order to make him protest play defensive, which would allow him to get more Hydra and just contain him off two base, but he didn't want that. He found a timing window that was literally the perfect timing window to do damage, and with the proper micro that he had, he could do it. I'm not sure if any other protests could do that, but he could. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you ready to go on game number two? Yes, I'm ready. All right, cool.